Ice Cream Queen of Tanzania. I am the co-founder and general manager of Shule Direct. My name is Fahad Awad and I'm a young entrepreneur. My name is Jacqueline Sonda. I'm a baker. I am a social and business entrepreneur. I am the co-founder and managing director of Ekihia. The whole process started in my head in 2010 when I was in London and it's because I saw an opportunity there where the whole frozen treat business was big business. I saw so many fruits, they were using fruits and milk and I figured we have that at home so why not? Do it. Interestingly, my background is in project management. The interest for us was technology, especially the internet technologies. And uh, the idea was how can we leverage existing technologies to improve access to qualified learning resources for all teachers and students in Tanzania. When I started out, so my first job was in a sales department, taking in orders and, and doing sales, and I kind of felt like this is not for me. A friend of mine really, really wanted to start a company, and she had been talking for about four or five years. And finally, in 2014, I was like, okay, let's do this. You know, Let's talk talking. In Tanzania, entrepreneurship really boomed as a fallback position. You find people either they're educated and they manage to graduate even from university, but due to the high unemployment rates, they're not being able to be employed, so they end up becoming entrepreneurs. As an entrepreneur in this environment, there are going to be a lot of setbacks. There are going to be a lot of challenges. And you have to be prepared for them. After graduating from university, I came back home. I tried to apply to different jobs, but it was very hard to find a job here. And I couldn't just sit at home. I knew I was capable of doing something for myself because I was not anymore dependent to my parents. The cultural context of Tanzania doesn't really set a young person towards entrepreneurship, let alone a young woman towards entrepreneurship. One of the challenges young women have is first of all identifying that they have the capacity to become entrepreneurs and taking on the opportunities that are in the market. But secondly, how to navigate the cultural context that comes with being a female entrepreneur and more specifically being a young female entrepreneur. The very, very core challenge of my business in terms of capital is shown obviously. A local person like our banks still don't understand this business, so it's very high risk, it's a green field, they don't even go near it. For someone with a bakery, it's something they already understand, they easily get support. Socially, people think this is just bound to fail. They can look at you and say, you need to stop doing this and do a job where you, you get money and then you can come back to your business. I've met a lot of people along the way who would tell me, okay, this is a very nice idea. It's a new product. It can be the next best snack in Tanzania. But your business is still very small. You can't really progress from this. You need first to find money. It doesn't make me feel as if there is that social support for small entrepreneurs. Naweza nikasema mabanki hayana msaada kwa sababu yanakuwa na riba kubwa sana. Yanafanya tushuke kimapato. Tunakuwa kama tunawafanyia wao biashara. So when you see a young person take on an entrepreneurship idea, support them, encourage them, but also from the authorities and the policy space, be deliberate about making sure that those businesses thrive. Kila elimu uweze kuendesha biashara. Na biashara yote lazima uwe na elimu. Uweze kupata faida na hasara. Kwa sababu uweze kuendesha tu biashara ambayo unaendesha tu kila siku kwa biashara uweze kujua faida unapata shingapi na hasara unapata shingapi. Lazima wewe uwe na elimu ndio uweze kuendesha biashara yako. We do have 800,000 graduates graduating every year from higher learning institutions. But where are they going in the job market? Nowhere. And the job opportunities that are there 
do they have the skills for that? No. So it's also up to institutions, companies, organizations, everybody who can chip in and give this much needed skill to these graduates because as much as we need them to be educated and have their bachelor's degrees and masters and PhDs and whatnot, we still need to equip them with the much needed skills that we need to drive this economy. How do I see this happening? Every hand needs to be on deck. Five years ago, there was no brand called Melo's Gelato in the market. There was nobody teaching ice cream classes. Now we have an award-winning brand Nello's Gelato in the market. Here I am, it's because I started. My journey has allowed me to really learn a lot, not only about the business, but about myself. So I'm always learning about not only the cashew crop, but how to build a better business. So I'm an avid reader. I read about great companies. I take lessons from that, and I see how can I apply those in my own business. But it's just not about having a conversation and going home and feeling good or whatever, but it's having a functional conversation that when you really leave from the conversation, you have the right context of people to take you to the next level. You have seen somebody, you know, if you're in the same level that, okay, I've never been able to access finance, then maybe you need to have a different approach because somebody else wasn't able to access finance, but they did this and they did that and they did that and they were able to access finance. I didn't have or still do not have a lot of money that I would say my business has a lot of money. No, I have started small, but I can see myself growing. That's the main thing for me, progress. So I would just advise them to start. But, and if they're very dedicated into it, they will see progress. And that will be the, the only journey they will need to do.